Hello awesome teachers! In this video I will be sharing with you how to leverage the power of Google Classroom and use it in the most efficient way possible to get done what you need to get done on a daily basis. So the first thing I want to show you is that this is the opening screen when you come in as you can see. If you have an assignment down here and it's something that the kids have forgotten about or they've not turned in and you want to move it to the top in order to be able to get their attention, you just click on these three dots and click move to the top. When you do that, it will move it to the top of the stream so that it is clearly in their view and they will be able to be reminded of it. One thing that will be super important with online distance learning is being able to contact your students. So there's a way in Google Classroom in order for you to email all of them at the same time. So you just click on people. Once you open to people, you'll see all of your students underneath here. I've got mine cut off for privacy reasons. But basically what you're going to do is click this box so that it highlights all of your students. Click actions and then you'll have an option for email. You won't be able to see it here on my screen since I've got that part cut out. But that's how you would email all of your students at one time. From there, we're going to hop back to the stream page. And I want you to notice here that you can share something with the class right here. And it basically just creates an announcement instead of a actual assignment. So you can add links to this. So if there's a link that you want the kids to have right away, this is a good spot to do it. You can add it right here, give a little information, and then post it to the class, and it will show up on the stream. When it's time to start grading, you can see all of your classwork here. However, if you go over to these three little lines and click on To Do, then click on the specific class that you want, and then once you do that, you'll see all of your assignments pull up. That way you can just click on these individually and scroll through and grade all the ones that need to be graded in an efficient manner. Another thing I've noticed about Google Classroom is that I get emails for everything. So if you want to set those qualifications of what emails you get, you go to your settings and then you can click how you want to receive notifications. This is a cool feature because you can customize it to whatever you would like. Another option you have to be more efficient, if you go to Classwork and Create, you will notice that there's an option for reusing a post. That way you don't have to retype it again. So you can click on Reuse Post, and then as soon as it comes up, you will choose the class. This is going really slow. There we go. Okay, so I will choose my class that I want and then I have all these options of which one I want to reuse. So I'll press reuse. And then it will come up and allow me to write and change the due date and do whatever I need to do. Next, I wanna show you a quick reminder about how to download the grades. So if you're in an assignment and I cut off the names of my students once again, you just go over here to the little gear and that will give you options of copying grades to a Google Sheet or downloading them as a CSV. So if you need to do that, you can do that very quickly right over here in this little box. Back out on your home page now, another really cool feature is that you can create group assignments. If you go on your classwork tab and press create an assignment, just like you normally would. You'll put in your details for the assignment right here and then simply go over and click on all students. Once you do that, a list of your students will pop up. You'll unclick off of all students and then you'll just choose the students that you would like to assign the project to or the assignment to. You will then repeat these steps for the rest of the groups and in that way be able to differentiate what assignment each group is getting. Another great way to use this while we are digitally learning from afar, if you press create and you can make a question, which is kind of like uh, an exit ticket or a bell ringer, this might be a good way just to keep your students involved in whatever you're learning about. You can also assign it a due date and a topic over here to keep it organized. 
I've also used the question feature during the presidential debates when I assigned the students extra credit if they watched the debates and I would post questions on Google Classroom and in order for them to get extra credit they could answer the questions while they were watching the debates. So it's a good way to do something live and interactive even though we're not in the classroom. These are just some ways to leverage Google Classroom while we're doing distance learning. However, you do need to check out Ditch the Textbook. He is amazing. Uh, Matt Miller shares all kinds of ideas about Google Classroom and Google tools and technology in general. So if you Google him, Ditch the Textbook, Matt Miller, he has a ton of ideas to share with you, tips and tricks as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jkwezi at houstonisd.org. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.